Hello all, once again this is Sidraman from Electronic Thumbnail and welcomes you all for today's show. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to build a LED lamp like this. Before watching this video, you need to watch a LED basics tutorial for clear understanding. Now we will see how resistor acts in series and parallel circuits. In the series circuit, now I am connecting 3 resistors in series. So that when we add the resistance in series, you will get the some net sum as the output. This is the resistor R1, this is R2 and this is R3. Each resistance value is 100 ohm. So when you add these 3 resistors, you will get an output of 300 ohm resistor. In a parallel circuit, you will get a resistance value gets divided. I am considering 2 resistors R1 and R2. Each resistance value is 100 ohm and the formula to calculate the parallel resistance is R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 so that you can substitute the values directly 100 plus 100 you can get the net sum of 50 ohm this is the formula to calculate the parallel resistance and this is the formula to calculate series resistance now we will see how LED acts in series and parallel circuits. This is the series circuit of LEDs. In series circuit, the voltage gets divided and the current remains the constant throughout the circuit. So that in this circuit, the current remains as 20 milliamps. It is the rated current of the LED. Mm. When we connect all these LEDs in series, you will get an average of 9 volt across this circuit. But I am going to connect a 12 volt supply to this circuit. So that we need some resistance to resist the 3 volt. Uh, that is the voltage should be dropped across the resistor. Now let us see how to resist that voltage and calculate the value of this resistance. So according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. From this we can calculate the resistor value of resistance by R is equal to V by I. This V is nothing but the voltage drop across the resistor. We need to drop 3 volt in this circuit divided by 20 milliamps. I will get approximately around 150 ohms. You can directly connect a 150 ohm resistor to it or you can use the series and parallel uh, combinations of resistors as we seen before. Now let us see the working of series circuits. I have connected 3 LEDs in series and now I am going to give a 12 volt supply to it. The LED is glowing well. And now we will move on to uh, parallel circuits of LEDs. In parallel circuits, you need to connect 3 LEDs in parallel. I am using some resistors to it. In this parallel circuits, the voltage remains the same. Actually, if this LED's voltage is 3 volt, it will remain the same throughout the circuit, 3 volt. The current gets divided in each of the parallel parts. So here 20 milliamps, here 20 milliamps, and here 20 milliamps. So here uh, the supply is 12 volt, and the resistor value we need to calculate it. Same formula we need we can use here also. R is equal to V by I. For V we can use 12 minus 3 volt because we need to drop 9 volt across the resistor divided by 20 milliamps this is the current so sorry 20 plus 20 plus 20 because it is a parallel circuit we need to divide each current so the current gets divided so that 9 volt divided by 60 milliamps we will get around 150 ohm of resistance now we will see the working of parallel circuits here the three LEDs are connected in parallel and i am going to supply uh, give a supply of 12 volt to it the LED glows. By using both the series and parallel circuits, you can build this circuit. You can see that this, these are all the series connections and these are all the parallel connections. We have made it. 